one-way traffic, or unidirectional traffic, is traffic that moves in a single direction. A one-way street is a street either facilitating only one-way traffic, or designed to direct vehicles to move in one direction. One-way streets typically result in higher traffic flow as drivers may avoid encountering oncoming traffic or turns through oncoming traffic. Residents may dislike one-way streets due to the circuitous route required to get to a specific destination, and the potential for higher speeds adversely affecting pedestrian safety. Some studies even challenge the original motivation for one-way streets, in that the circuitous routes negate the claimed higher speeds. Signs are posted showing which direction the vehicles can move in, commonly an upward arrow, or on a T-junction where the main road is one way, an arrow to the left or right dot at the end of the street through which vehicles may not enter, a prohibitory traffic sign do not enter, wrong way, or no entry sign is posted, e.g. with that text, or a round red sign with a white horizontal bar. Sometimes one portion of a street is one way, another portion two way. An advantage of one-way streets is that drivers do not have to watch for vehicles coming in the opposite direction on this type of street. A number of European countries, including Russia and post-Soviet states, use one-way rectangular road signs with a white arrow on a blue background. In Russia and post-Soviet countries, such signs are called as exit to a one-way road, Russian, and are placed in front of an intersection, often in combination with a yield sign or priority road sign. Rectangular one-way traffic signs in different countries of the world may have such inscriptions inside the arrow. Austria uses Einbahn. Denmark uses Insredit. Germany uses Einbahnstrasse. Jordan uses. Luxembourg uses Sens Unique. Romania and Moldova use Sens UNIC. Some Spanish-speaking count tires in the Americas use Unavia. Thailand uses. Turkey uses Tekyon. In Russia and post-Soviet countries, the end of one-way traffic, Russian, sign is used to indicate the end of a one-way road. This sign shows a big white arrow crossed out by a red diagonal line on a blue background. Such sign in this form is not found anywhere else in Europe and Asia. Road signs give way and exit to a one-way road at the exit to Gubarevica Street in Alista, Russia. The abstract no entry sign was officially adopted for standardization at the League of Nations Convention in Geneva in 1931. The sign was adapted from Swiss usage, derived from the practice of former European states that marked their boundaries with their formal shield symbols. Restrictions on entry were indicated by tying a blood red ribbon horizontally around the shield. 5. The sign is also known as C1 from its definition in the Vienna Convention on Road Signs and Signals. The European no-entry sign was adopted into North American uniform signage in the late 1960s-1970s, replacing a previous white square sign bearing only the English text in black do not enter. In addition to the standardized graphic symbol, the US version still retains the wording do not enter, while the European and Canadian versions typically have no text. One-way streets may be part of a one-way system, which facilitates a smoother flow of motor traffic through, for example, a city center grid, as in the case of Bangalore, India. This is achieved by arranging one-way streets that cross in such a fashion as to eliminate right turns, for driving on left, or left turns, for driving on right. Traffic light systems at such junctions may be simpler and may be coordinated to produce a green wave. Some of the reasons one-way traffic is specified. The street is too narrow for movement in both directions and the road users unable to coordinate easily. Prevent drivers from cutting through residential streets to bypass traffic lights or other requirements to stop, a so-called rat run. Discourage drivers from cruising through a residential neighborhood, e.g. by having mostly one-way streets pointing outwards, with relatively few vehicular entrances. Part of a one-way pair of two parallel one-way streets in opposite directions, such as a divided highway. For a proper functioning of a system of paid parking or other restricted vehicular access, these may also use one-way treadles which puncture tires if traversed in the forbidden direction. To calm traffic, especially in historic city centers. Eliminate turns that involve crossing in front of oncoming traffic. 
increase traffic flow and potentially reduce traffic congestion. Add an additional parking lane in a former two-way street. Formerly with parking on one side only. Commonly found in Malta. Eliminate the need for a center turn lane that can instead be used for travel. Better traffic flow in densely built up areas where road widening may not be feasible. Simplify pedestrian crossing of the street due to walkers only needing to look for oncoming traffic in one direction. Eliminate cars driver side doors opening into the travel lane in parallel parking spaces for parking lanes located on the left, right hand drive, or right, left hand drive, side of a street. Locate a one-way bike lane on the opposite side of the street from parallel parking spaces to prevent dooring. Limited access highway entrance and exit ramps. In the United States, 37 states, and Puerto Rico allow left turns on red only if both the origin and destination streets are one way. See South Carolina Law Section 56-5-970 C3, for example. Five other states, Alaska, Idaho, Michigan, Oregon, and Washington, also allow left turns on red into a one-way street from a two-way street. An attempt was apparently made in 1617 to introduce one-way streets in alleys near the River Thames in London by the Worshipful Company of Carmen who were commissioned by the King to regulate traffic in the square mile of the City of London. The next one-way street in London was Albemarle Street in Mayfair, the location of the Royal Institution. It was so designated in 1800 because the public science lectures were so popular there. The first one-way streets in Paris were the Place Charles de Gaulle around the Arc de Triomphe, the Rue de Magadar and the Rue de la Chaussée d'Antin, created on December 13, 1909. According to the folklore of Eugene, Oregon, the use of one-way streets in the United States started in Eugene itself. In 1941 Sixth Ave was converted into a one-way avenue by the highway department. Other sources claim the fad arose in relation to the disaster of the SS Moro Castle. On September 9, 1934, the on-fire SS Moro Castle was towed to the New Jersey shoreline near the Asbury Park Convention Center and the sightseeing traffic was enormous. The Asbury Park Police Chief decided to make the Ocean Avenue one-way going north and the street one block over, Kingsley, in one way going south, creating a circular route. By the 1950s this cruising the circuit became a draw to the area in itself since teens would drive around it looking to hook up with other teens. The circuit was in place until the streets went back to two-way in 2007 due to new housing and retail development. One-way traffic of pedestrians. Sometimes one-way walking is specified for smooth pedestrian traffic flow, or in the case of entrance checks, such as ticket checks, and exit checks, e.g. the checkout in a shop. They may be outdoors, e.g. an extra exit of a zoo, or in a building, or in a vehicle, e.g. a tram. In addition to signs, there may be various forms and levels of enforcement, such as personnel, sometimes a soft traffic control system is supported by vigilant staff monitoring. A turnstile, However, turnstile jumping is possible. A high entrance slash exit turnstile, H-E-E-T. A one-way revolving door. An escalator, however, the escalator can be traversed in opposite direction, by walking up or down the stairs faster than it moves. An elevator that can only be called from one floor, this is common in IKEA stores. Two-way elevators, Passengers enter from the front on one floor and exit from the back in another floor. This is common in two-level target stores. A door or gate that can only be opened from one side, a manual or electric lock, or simply a door that is pushed open and has no doorknob on the other side, or which automatically opens from one side. However, with help from someone on the other side, it may often be bypassed in the reverse direction. O oh, entrance of a shop. O oh, an emergency exit, which may activate an alarm. Airports, example passport control, customs, baggage security. Sometimes a door or gate can be opened freely from one side, and only with a key or by inserting a coin from the other side, house door, door with a coin slot, example giving entrance to a pay toilet. The latter can be passed without paying when somebody else leaves, 
and by multiple persons if only one pays, as opposed to a coin-operated turnstile. Thank you for watching this video.